Yeah, what's going on? <clears throat> this guy's lucky that I had things to do. And that I'm patient enough to give this guy some time. But now, I gotta let it be known. That this guy is a lying individual, <clears throat> to say the least. Talking about that Taharka Bay. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with Meatball, too. In case me, I th Meatball may have caught it already. But the reason why Taharka Bay bought the guy back on is because I called in and asked him to. But the man bought the man on. Talking about a whole bunch of other bullshit while insulting the guy, too, by the way. He keeps calling him crazy. Keep that in mind. But, of course, Meatball will take it because it's a bigger stage, bigger arena. So, hey, if man call, sneak disses me every time he talks to me, so be it. So, Meatball thinks that he scored another victory because I went on there last night. And Taharka Bay didn't let me do what the motherfucker claimed he was going to let me do. Talking about, uh, let's, let's save it for another show. How come every time somebody comes up, let's save it for another show, motherfucker? I was supposed to be on the first motherfucking show. But instead, what did he do? He had Sister Noble up there. And I'm still, to this day, trying to figure out how did Sister Noble get a link? How was Aaliyah supposed to get a link? But the man who arranged the shit, the motherfucker didn't have no communications and gave me no fucking link. And he BS'd me because he blocked me too during that first show. So I wouldn't say anything. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? Maybe he's doing it because he has something up his sleeve that he didn't tell me about. And he just didn't want me to ruin the plan. And for all, for all I know, he still may have something up his sleeve. But it's too fucking late now because you pissed me the fuck off. <laughs> Shit. So, this cocksucker, this instigator, this guy who's going around dissing everybody. Even though I got to admit the people he's dissing, I can really give a fuck about. But the man is obviously trying to get his uh, clout up and try to have everybody gravitate towards him as if he's some type of uh, honest Abe trying to expose everybody. And he, he and his kooky Freemason group are so-called innocent in, in the truth. They're just as kooky and they're all fucking related. All of them. Even that goddamn Uncle Suge. Once Uncle Suge pulled out that Babalu hat, I said, I, now I see. Now I see. Now I see why he stays on them because they're all fucking connected. One thing this Taharka Bay is scared to death of is losing his fucking channel. Hence losing that goddamn money. That guy's scared straight. You know, when a guy spends a little money on a mixing board <laughs> and some shit, you know they're in it for the money. So this is this is why I think Negroes will never get together because you got Negroes out here who are opportunists, always looking to shit on other black people to get paid. They don't give a fuck what the cause. That's why the white man recruits ex-cons and, and dope, dope fiends and drug addicts because he knows they have no morals. They'll do whatever the fuck it takes. You watch, I've, I've been sending those... Uh, community uh, recommendations out for TV shows on YouTube, like the FBI files. You watch all these crime shows, what do you see? Whether it's the FBI, local police, what do you see time after time? Informants. Stitches, that's what they call them. Every goddamn place. How do they turn them out? They get money.
They get time off. It's a damn shame. But this is what you have, these coon agents. That's why, for all I know, Meatball may have tipped them off when I did my uh, C00 uh, agent roll call and I put Taharka Bay's face in that avatar. You goddamn right I did. And that was, I think I did that either before, yeah, I think I did that before I contacted him. Because, again, you don't get nothing past me. And it's funny how the same people he's putting out and, and calling out, when I called him out, Meatball was defending these people. Like he was their goddamn condom. Defending them. Only when they diss him does he have a problem. Which is his M.O. I call him out because I can recognize Coon agents. And that Taharka Bay is one of them too. But he's damn sure a liar. That is no doubt about it because I just experienced that. I've been, you know how I am. I'm patient. When I'm on people's lives, I patiently wait. I respect them before I speak. Even when they start disrespecting me as I start to speak. I might disrespect them back, but that's the only time it happens because they know they don't want me to speak. And it's the coon agents who do that. So this Taharka Bay, this fake ass Muslim, I keep telling people these Moorish people, they're not Muslims. They shout Islam. That's, a, that's as far as it goes. Motherfuckers got names like Taharka Bay, fucking Nubian. Yeah, other motherfuckers call L this, L that. Arabic mixed in with the fucking Turkish. Uh, ancient Egyptian names mixed in with Turkish. Native American names mixed in with the Turkish. But the f full base of it is the Ottoman Empire. And they lie. You tell them what the fuck is Bay Turkish, they say no. But it is. Yeah, and it spawned the nation of Islam. This guy is a fraud. He's making his money grab. You know, it is what it is. You know, once you see the first check, you're like, fuck it. Let me make it bigger. Oh, yeah. Before I go on, I think I'm going to scale back on some videos, too, because I keep seeing people like Tariq Nasheed, motherfucker going around picking fights with people, trying to steal my argu argument points. You know he got that shit from me verbatim, but you can hear that he doesn't know how to argue with when confronted with other kinds of people, a variety of people, because he can't defend himself. You're not me, Tariq Nashi. I can go into any arena and do my thing with anybody. You can't. You got to hustle and bullshit your way through it. So stop it or give me the motherfucking credit. But I know he's not because he's an arrogant fucker, just like this Taharka Bay. And somebody else I see starting to take my talking points because they hear me i know they ain't no doubt that they've been hearing me no doubt about that but they're big youtubers and they and you know how the negro thinks well i got the numbers so i must be better well if you're better nigga why are you taking my talking points the way i argue shit i think you motherfuckers might start paying me Fuck all that. I'm, I'm not giving you no more motherfucking material. Fuck all this shit. You come up with your own defenses. Fuck that. Because I'm getting tired of this shit. All I ask for is, I got this from Alquan. That's all I ask for. I don't ask for no fucking money. But you motherfuck, all of you motherfuckers bragging about what you got. Bragging about your uh, YouTube views and shit. Then stealing my material at the same fucking time. The fuck is wrong with these people? Fuck all that. Go to somebody else's channel and, and lift their shit. Even though you do that too. <laughs> shit. Just three. Now she, he, he was taking a little of mine, taking a little of somebody else's too. With his little fucking arguments. Taking a few people. Reciting shit verbatim. The way they do it, when they talk about 
the native uh, tribes and shit. I said, mother, this guy, I said, this motherfucker is something else. <laughs> then that other guy, the famous guy. Fuck it, man. I'm scaling the fuck back. Fuck that. I'm, I think I'm going to go back to my old format, the obscure format, where I'm just putting it, putting the information out there. Fuck that. You know, it's funny. When I had that other channel and I just put the videos out there, you know, people gave me the credit, even though I was faceless and voiceless. But now that I'm, I'm still faceless, as they say, and you hear my voice, people don't want to give me the fucking credit. That's fine. That's fine. But these big YouTubers, you're going to have to come up with your own. You're going go to go to your own law school to argue. Argue the shit down. That's why these fuckers never argue impromptu debates with a whole range of people. See, me, I don't give a damn how formidable the foe is. I go to it and I do it. But these Negroes, I see one thing. These people are, I mean, I'm, I'm beginning to believe that there is no fucking hope. It's just a revolving circle of coonery. Same shit. You prove to Negroes. And yes, I am talking to those who think that I'm talking to them. You prove to them that Marcus Garvey was cooning. You prove to him that he was swirling. You proved to him, to them, that the man and his pan-African ideology is the white man's. We don't just talk it. We showed this shit. We showed it. And then they dismiss it all. And they want to stick to their goddamn script. So they must be coon agents. Or they're just looking to get paid. Because I noticed that most of the time when they speak, it's always about YouTube views. We're going to get popular. We, we, look, we, we're about to get popular now. And all that kind of shit. And they're not educated. I'm sorry to say. I know they're going to be like, oh, shit. But I could, listen, let me tell you something. There are a lot of us, we could tell when people are bullshitting on the knowledge. We could tell. We may not say it, but we know when it's happening. And you can't do it. Tariq Nasheed is one of those people. But he's slick. But these other guys, see, when they can't talk you into it or trick you, they try to bully you. None of that shit works with me. But that slick talk, we can tell because they lack knowledge. And then when they mess up, on the shit that they're trying to convey and then you even correct them on it not to be a smarty pants just to, so that next time they'll know then they got the nerve to tell me that I'm wrong but I'm trying to correct you be, so you won't look like a goddamn idiot the next time and I'm not saying any names but they know who they are they, they get on they can't properly defend their positions and they even come down to lying. I told you, once you start lying, I got you. It's all over with. So that combined with this Taharka Bay and Meatball, this is nothing but entertainment for Negroes. Unfortunately, entertainment, money, and a fucking career, just like a preacher. Think about it. There was no fucking church or mosque. Somebody asked somebody, uh, what do you do? What, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a fucking reverend. That's what they could say now. I'm a deacon. I'm this, I'm that. But take away the church. What are you? What's your title? Garbage man, right? You don't have nothing. So stop this madness. Getting tired of this shit. This is why. I take my time with things because I got to figure out who the fuck is real and who the fuck is fake. I think my man Lionel is real. Tyron is real. A lot of these other people are full of shit. e -deck seems to be real. A few other people. 
A lot of people are wishy-washy. And for most of these black channels on YouTube, you can see black people gravitate towards the what they call the fuckery. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like excitement my damn self. But most of the people now, if not all of the people who are into the fuckery, the exposing, the dissing, these same jackasses have the nerve to act like they're pro-black and love black people when they hate black people. See, this is why when I speak to certain people, if you notice, even though I critique their ideology because it's been proven to be wrong, not because I dislike it, but because it's fucking phony, that's why. You notice I don't call them names, if you notice. And then some of these people get on here and then they say that I kept interrupting or I did this, I did that. It's every man for himself when, they, when you get up here. What one man says, that's what another man, he says. Another man says, that's what the other man says. Shit, who got up here? And yeah, you could, I'm not dissing. I'm just repeating what the fuck was heard. So keep that in mind. Who got up here and said that black people are worldwide? Then when asked the question, how come you're not pressuring them to be fucking Africans and calling them Africans? Oh, they're a different species. They're Neanderthal. You contradict your own ideology your own core belief, the whole point that you hang your hat on, which is that Africans are global people and everybody came from Africa. But when pressured into telling the fucking truth, not the lie, but the fucking truth, the lie comes easy. But when pressured to talk, telling the fucking truth, oh, these other people are Neanderthals, they're not human. Come on. They fucking still stick to the same old fucking story. Come on, we, we got to stop this bullshit. That's how I know it's a game for these people. If you're truthful in what the fuck you're saying and what you're doing, I can get behind it. But when it's a fucking lie, you support nothing but lies. Just like Nation of Islam. That's a fucking lie. Now, that fucking cocksucker, Taharka Bay. Would have let me even talk about that. I would have rocked that. And yeah, and I would have taken out his Morris uh, uh, Science Temple bullshit. Because the Nation of Islam, Morris Science Temple, that shit goes hand in hand. That's bullshit. Based on some Babalu wackiness. I don't like fake shit. But unfortunately, like I said before, you know, fake shit attracts the mentally disabled. And a lot of them run with it and truly believe. That's why you see a lot of those that Hanafi uh, Muslims back in the day, motherfucking named Tyrone Jackson and shit, then a crazy man named Tyrone Jackson, just, just a made-up name. Then they become a Muslim, talking about Allah this, they, they want to change their name to Al Jafar, uh, Mansour Mustafa, <laughs> you know, because that sounds fancier than Tyrone Jackson. I mean, if you were the president of a country, President Tyrone Jackson, that doesn't sound good. But all that other Ar fancy Arabic shit sounds good. Then you find out a lot of that Arabic shit might sound fancy to us, but then the shit means something simple. Like the great one, or the uh, cute one, or <laughs> or uh, the one who looks like his mother, or some shit like that, you know? <laughs> you know, it's all a bunch of craziness. But these more science tipple guys, with these fucking foam uh, <laughs> fezzes on and shit. Lying, they gotta lie, see, they gotta start lying about what they're all about, what their origins are. They, they crowd around some 
crazy man named Noble Drew Ali, which is a whacked out maniac. Crazy maniac. Just like Pan Africans got a crowd around Marcus Garvey, who was another whacked out maniac. And they believe that in order for their bullshit group to remain intact or to, or to seem or to appear valid, they cannot ruin the integrity of Noble Drew Ali, Marcus Garvey, just like religions with Muhammad and Jesus Christ, because they're all based off of those religions. That's why they're held up like deities. Keep trying to tell people this. There's more guys talking about Morocco. You know, damn well they only picked Morocco because it has the word more in it. And Morocco is more distinguished of a country than Mauritania. It's all fucking simple. They, and like the Nation of Islam, or should I say the Nation of Islam, like the Morris Science Temple, wrote their own books. And they call it all the holy books to supplement the Quran because they don't follow the fucking Quran. Because they're not Muslims. But that's another thing. I'm getting too far off into that point. Because I want to concentrate on this, this cocksucker, Taharqa Bay. Now, this guy, Taharqa Bay, what he did is he, when he first had Meatball on the show, this is what this cocksucker did. This guy got Meatball. Somebody's parking next to me. That's why I'm <coughs> talking a little slow. <coughs> but this guy went and got Meatball. I was supposed to go on the show to ask questions about the Mississippi campaign. Matter of fact, the video that this fucker took down to Harker Bay is down in the description because this guy, this is why I kept if you've been listening to my videos this is what I kept saying I kept saying, I got the video I even wrote this guy this guy is a liar he said, email him I think the last couple of times that Meatball was on he said, email him to get the link he kept giving me a faulty email address that's right, faulty. How do I know I copied and pasted what the fuck he put in the chat room? And the shit was faulty. Fake. When his mod wrote another one out, that's when I got the real one. And even then, he didn't get back to me, but I know he was reading the shit. I ain't gonna say how I know, but I know. And uh, then he get, gives me the link. Because the show started at around, what, 10 o'clock or something like that. Then he, then the guy finally emails me the fucking link at around 12.20. And then yesterday, this guy, I was telling him about that shit. And he was like, well, you should have came on the last time. I said, mother, I said, I was trying to be respectful. But the man know what the fuck he was doing. He played, you know, these sneaky fuckers, man. These coke addicts. <laughs> <laughs> these ex-cons, these street urchins, man, they're, they're, they're sneaky with their shit. Paranoid, too. You can see the paranoia in his eyes. So, yeah, and this character I got on the Avatar, that's the first person I thought about when I look at his eyes. <laughs> but um, this guy's a sneaky bastard. So then the guy... Again, I still don't know the behind the scenes situation on this or how it came into being. But some, for some reason, when <clears throat> Meatball made his first appearance, after, that is the first appearance after he used to diss Taharka Bay, which Taharka Bay acknowledged, that's when Sister Noble said she was coming on. And I'm like, damn, uh, uh, how she know she's coming on? And then she got on. So he must have told 
Nobo and Aaliyah and Meatball and myself different things. At least Aaliyah was smart enough to not go on because now she sees the bias. I wanted to go on to confirm that Taharka Bay was a snake. That's what I wanted to do. And it was confirmed last night. That's why we've been playing this fucking tag for the last month. Because I'm trying to figure out, okay, is this, does this man have a master plan up his sleeve? Or is he sucking meatballs penis? And his meatballs. I guess meatball must have paid once he got win. You know, that's how he always does. Hey, you know what? I'll donate something to you. And then, of course, these uh, fiends, once they get a taste of that money, they're like, fuck it, whatever, I'll, I'll take the money, whatever, it's all yours, you got it, meatball, you got it. <laughs> yeah, you got it, man. Just like that female that used to host this guy. Notice how she fell back. I guess because the money ain't coming in no more. When he's not on, his so-called crew which might be that Talib guy, they're not around. They don't give a fuck about her content. Then Meatball tried to say that I got dissed on that lady's uh, so-called show. Yeah, I did. But I didn't get to speak. That's the problem. But I did speak on my channel. And that's the end of that. <laughs> so, stop with that shit. Now, this meatball stretches this whole shit out because I want to ask this fucker about this fucking campaign. The man already said he's too old. He has a, a an immune deficiency uh, syndrome. So, he cannot go out and, and do the Mississippi campaign. And he said he doesn't want to do it for our lazy asses anyway. Even though he keeps telling us this is something that this is the best option for us. But we have to go do it. Well, stop telling us it's the best option if you're not going to go do it. He already said he's not doing it. So that's the end of the discussion on that. But that fucking Tarika Bay want the fuck around. So anyway, if you are familiar with the situation, he let... Sister Noble, come on. This is this how this is how you could tell this guy is a jackass. This man brings Sister Noble on. She wanted to tell the world about what Meatball did to her, which we all saw, which was nonstop harassment. The man put her life out into the public arena. He even admitted he's a vindictive guy. We know that. But Taharka Bay wanted to side with Meatball. And I could see Sister Noble was, was taken aback. And I could see that the tears were about to come out. Because she's like, how the fuck is this guy trying to see things his way? Sister Noble, it's the fucking money. Yeah, keep in mind, these people are fucking cocaine addicts. These people do drugs. They need their fix. Every fucking donation to these fuckers on YouTube, 50 here, 100 here, there. You know where that's going. The money talks, the BS walks. That's the bottom line. With anybody. That's the way it goes. So, that's why I played it straight and narrow. When I went on, because I, I said I got a Watch out for this Taharka Bay. Because he see, he, he, he's convinced me that he's full of shit. And I emailed him and told him he's full of shit. He didn't email me back, of course. But this man is full of shit. So, his monkey ass thought he was slick enough to take that video I was on and take it down. But see, you're not fast enough. 
Taharka Bay because I got it and I present it to the people today. You cocksucker. Also in that show, I was talking my shit about Inky and these fake hood doctors. He didn't want that shit out either, I bet. Because, see, he's full of shit. Me, I go all in. Because I want these people done. Not exposed. Done. So he wants to hide. This is white guy out here wearing a t-shirt and shorts. And it's fucking 20... <laughs> 25 degrees. They always do this. You know they do this shit. Because they, they just feel the need to do it. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't give a fuck if you were, if you're a transplant from California, wherever the fuck you come from. Ain't no way in hell you would come out here. I mean, you know how the fuck, how cold it is just from being in your fucking house. This is what they do. I guess they can take it. <laughs> and he's taking his time out here, too. <laughs> they always do that shit. Anyway. It's the Harker Bay. That's why you got, when it comes to these people talking this black unity, ideology is important. Even Meatball's ideology, which is what he says, reality. It sounds good on the surface, but when you dig deeper, it's reality according to what he wants to accept and what he believes in or disbelieves in. When it's me, it's reality according to reality. It's not about what I want. It's about what is real. Now, if white people were indigenous to North Africa, that would be the reality I would have to accept. White people are in North Africa controlling it. That's a reality. And I have to accept it. Pan-Africans know it, but they don't give a fuck. Now, I showed another video I put in the community tab, I believe, about a Tunisian... I forgot what his title was. I think it's some minister of sports or some shit like that. Yeah, it just had to be a black man. <laughs> minister of sports. But the point was, that's fucking North Africa. As north, as north as it can get. And that's a black man. With the hair. And the complexion. Just speaking the Semitic language. Which Ethiopians speak, by the way. A Semitic language. So did the Sudanese. But they, Pan-Africans, will call them Africans. But North Africans, they don't want to acknowledge as their people. That's why these people are full of shit. You can't be global, then say people in the North Africa, when they look like any other African, are dismissed because it's North Africa, because the white man says so. Everything these people stand by is made up by the white man. That's why I say, when people ask me questions, like, is such and such black, or is such and such this? That's why I will say, according to the white man. Or that the white man said so. Because that's what it is. Racial categories. That's according to the white man. That's not nature. Keep trying to tell people this shit. It's what the white man wants to say. You take Jimmy Garoppolo quarterback. Because he's Italian. He is assumed white. That's another stupid thing Tariq Nasheed said too. He doesn't know a damn thing about Italy. He needs to brush up on shit. You want to debate people. You better know what everybody knows. Or at least most of it. And some shit that they don't know. If you want to do these debates. And destroy them. I dare an Italian to step to me. Because I'll definitely I'll, I'll, uh, tell him and show him. But, see, he's out on the West Coast. He's not used to Italians. You know, people, East Coast, Midwest, Louisiana, we're used to Italians. And I've spoken to them. They don't deny their blackness. But they don't have, they don't, they're not trying to call themselves black. Even when a lot of them got some noses and complexions and hair 
<laughs> well, ain't no doubt about it. But since they don't have to be called black, why the fuck would they want to be called black? Even if they look in the mirror and see the shit. Italians, like a lot of Hispanics, they're hinging on the white people that's in their group. They'll say, okay, this person is white. So we're white. It's crazy, but anyway, gotta accept what is and what it what is not. These groups that are supposed to be about black power, black consciousness, and all this shit, they don't accept reality. They're all coon agents, ex cons, crack addicts, coke addicts, heroin addicts, weed heads. And there's no doubt about that. That's why they're easy to turn out. You could tell they have no fucking careers because they're on YouTube all day. That's how they get paid. That's why they're paranoid that their YouTube channels get demonetized. And you got to ask yourself, how the fuck are they all demonetized saying the shit that they say? But I can't get monetized. And I'm rated PG compared to these people. But I guess if you call people niggers all day and keep putting down black people, I guess if you're on the Republican payroll, you can get monetized because it's part of the payment process. Then people like me, we can't even get monetized. But see, it doesn't stop me. But I am tired of people stealing my shit. And not giving me the fucking credit. Meatball included. These bigger YouTubers, man. God damn it. Break me off something. Or stop stealing my shit. That's why I'm going to limit the shit. You're going to have to go into the archives. And learn. From this master teacher. God damn it. Like I said, I'm going to just go back. I, I downloaded some new software too. So. Because, you know, I haven't really been upgrading the software but I see this new version of the editing program I use this shit really goes fast as fuck especially with this hardware I got see I buy my own hardware regardless of whether or not I'm getting paid on YouTube mainly because I you know it has different uses so, so. but <laughs> um, but this Taharka Bay he made the tears come out of the noble's eyes because Noble realized, damn, this guy is full of shit. Ain't this some shit, something that's interesting happens as I'm doing this that I wouldn't mind participating in. But unfortunately, I'm in the middle of uh, recording this, so I can't jump on that. And I'd like to. Can't do it right now. Anyway, <clears throat> so Taharka Bay dissed the black woman and then tried to act like he was fucking uh, Dr. Phil or some love doctor trying to reunite these people after his boy Meatball did all the worst smear campaign that you can do to a person. The worst. And you want to take his side, you know it's got to be the money. That's all it's about. And I emailed Sister Nova. She never got back to me. But again, I was emailing her handicapped because I didn't know the routine. I didn't know if she got in touch with Taharka Bay or he got in touch with her. I don't know how that worked. But if he got in touch with her, that means he set her up. That's what that means. If she got in touch with him, that just means he was trying to defend Meatball, just like he did last night. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell Meatball this too, just in case he doesn't know. But you can see the goddamn video. I got on there, we were it was Inky, 
exposed to or some shit, whatever the name is. Got on there that, you know, the shit on him, of course, and <laughs> the shit on these these other people. But in the back of my mind, I was saying to myself, to Harker Bay, he's, he's full of shit just like these people are too. But I said, you know what? If I get a chance to get the word out even more, <laughs> so let, let it be. I just, I'll be cool with him just to get the word out some more. And my main target was not meatball, believe it or not. But I said, since I'm on here and Meatball was up there before, I said, you know what? Because I know this, there's no need in putting Meatball down. Just let the man feel questions about this Mississippi campaign, which is fucking Tarka Bay hasn't done. He keeps saying, uh, call in. He never put anybody on. Oh, and the show before last night, I was on. People may have caught that one. I actually came on. I was waiting in the fucking back for like 20 minutes. And I saw his face. He knew I was back there. And then he hurried up and rushed Meatball off. Then brings me on. And you can watch the video if you want to. I don't care if you do or not. And you can hear my comments. And I was trying to be nice because I really wanted to tell the man a whole lot of shit about himself. But I said, let me try to be nice and see if this guy is going. See, this guy is one of those phony ass thugs who likes to smile a lot. This guy, they say he's beating women with bats and shit. Stealing. That's what they say. Wouldn't surprise me. He has a criminal record. So this guy was bullshitting me. Put me in the back. Finally brought me on. Then I said, I'm trying to ask this man about this Mississippi campaign, which is what I've been trying to ask for a while. You know why I've been trying to ask? Because I'm the one who talked to this fucker in the video that's in the link. I think it's about an hour and 52 minutes into the video. The rest of the video is good to watch too, just in case other people didn't get this video that he took down his enemies but I was I, I'm the one who came on there I said why don't you have Meatball come on and have him talk about the Mississippi campaign and I want to come on and ask the man some questions about it then he said that's a good idea yeah I'll do that Motherfucker didn't do that. I came on last night to ask some questions. I had to keep on trying to buy time. Then the fucking faggot. Well, they might cut that word, but the motherfucking cocksucker <laughs> cut me off. So I said, damn. And we'll see if that guy flags too. I don't give a fuck. I'm not getting paid, so I ain't got nothing to lose. Shit, if my shit. I, I I really feel I think I was most effective on YouTube by just putting the information out there. That way nobody hears your voice. They don't know if you're black. They don't know if you're white. And they don't give a fuck what you look like. They just got the information. Because I got views that surpassed the Harker Bay. Views that surpassed Saad Netter. Per video. And in total for the whole fucking channel. Because you take away people's biases when you just put this shit out. But if I were to put out an, uh, uh, an, another informative video. And you heard my voice. There would be some people like, oh, I don't like this. He's this. He don't like uh, paying Africans. He don't like that. Bias sets in but when the information is just put out there and it's up to you to verify it or you can verify it by seeing what's in front of your eyes then all of a sudden people think differently so I think I might go back to that and they were making money I was making a lot of money on, on, on those channels 
till they demonetized my shit, which they did on purpose because the shit was getting too fucking deep. I might get get a website, a real one, not no Taharka Bay cheap ass website showing videos of uh, naked prostitutes to try to get some fucking money. Motherfuckers, a bum on the street, a hustler. What kind of more that's supposed to be righteous wants to take pictures of a, a female? I don't give a fuck how they would distribute it. Now you want to charge people five dollars for a peep show? You low down scoundrel. Yeah, she shouldn't have been taking those uh fucking porn uh, porn. I, I, I say the fucking name. So this guy's so fucking scared of his channel getting taken down, he can't even say the word porn. Porn, god damn it. <laughs> fucking scared ass motherfuckers. Cause he knows if he they they know if they lose that shit. And another this other guy, this round headed guy too. These people they always say, ah, ah man, I ain't make this is a hobby. I ain't making no money off of this. I you know, I get a little something. I know what they get because when my last channel was the last one to be uh, demonetized, and that was all I had that was monetized, I'm telling you, I was making a decent amount of money. And that's when they lo that's after they lowered the rates per month. I'm telling you, it was pretty good. Something that if it's gone, you miss it, whether you really needed it or not. So. If their shits were getting more hits than mine, I already know they were getting a lot more money. But they got to bullshit you, but they don't bullshit people who's getting paid. Because they already know what the hell you're making, approximately. But they got to bullshit the public, because that's how they do it. That's how they con you. Act like, oh, I don't care about this. I ain't really getting too paid. I'm getting paid a little something. But I need those donations. That's how I really get paid. No, you add the shit together. That's what it is. The donations are a bonus. That's what the fuck that is. And niggas like entertainment. Yeah, that's what I said. Niggas. Cause I'm getting pissed off now. I hate to have to just start doing what the fuck they're doing. I really do. But I'm going to do what I was doing before. Because I'm tired of this shit. You know, it was niggas that took down my original channel, which was fucking flowing. That's why I can't stand niggas. Break your flow because they hate being black. They hate it. That's why Information Man said what he said and the shit was true. I'm going to try to get back on his show. I think he, I see he's starting to lower the time, but you know, the football, you know what I mean? But, <laughs> but when he said that that's all black people on YouTube do is be for the most part, that is the truth. But it's mainly the hood, ghetto, low down, high school dropout, weed smoking, henny drinking, cocaine snorting, dusty musties. <laughs> Who all they know is beef. They carry the streets onto YouTube. These people had to learn to read in order to fucking get on YouTube and the fucking internet. Like I said before, if, if you didn't have to read to get on the fucking internet, these motherfuckers would have never touched the shit. But they knew they had to. So they had to learn to read. And all these fuckers come up on here, didn't finish high school, been in the, uh, in the joint. They come on here acting like they're motherfucking Yale professors. I mean, it's all a fucking con. Yeah, Garfield, you got that, huh? Fucking arrogant trying to act. I mean, of course you're going to be arrogant if you only have a few people allowed to challenge your black asses. And that Garfield, he said he's half Cuban and half Jamaican, so he's a motherfucking Latino. And those hairy arm, uh, hands of his prove that. <laughs> He's arrogant, acting like he's a fucking college professor. Get my book. I mean, who the fuck are you? I mean, who, who are we going to reference your book for? Well, I mean, what the fuck are we going to find in, in your book? It's not peer review. Nobody knows who the fuck Garfield Reed is in the fucking academic world. 
Garfield Reed, Jamaican immigrant, high school, didn't even finish high school, esteemed author, he and he alone has the secrets to the Bible. This motherfucker had the nerve to go on Dr. My Eyes channel. They asked him some complex shit. He's like, well, I could tell you about this and that, but it's too much for you. Man, if it ain't too much for you, it ain't too much for nobody else. And Ankh, his bullshit, they get these geeks to come on there and debate with these guys. All set up. I told Dr. My, bring me on. But I know Garfield Reed will say, don't bring him on. Ankh will say, don't bring him on because they need shit set up for him. That's why. Dr. Mott is a real PhD, but she's fucking with these clowns. Because she, too, has been in the system. Fake-ass name. She's a real doctor, but a fake-ass name. Been telling people, man, this is why I started waking it up. Waking up, because I've been seeing these fucking doctors, these Afrocentric, that's what they used to call them, Afrocentric scholars. And I used to always say to myself, now, I know they didn't enter college name, what was it, Malefe Asante, or whatever the fuck the names are. Uh, Jabubi uh, Unkaka. All these fucking elaborate names. Uh, Jafar Unkeke. All this shit. I know they didn't enter college, but that, they entered college as Carl Jackson, Tina Williams, <laughs> whatever the fuck else name. Then they change the shit up. And then you have a multi-pronged attack on black America. Man, why am I getting all this shit now, man? I mean, I'm getting alerts now on some shit. But you have all these multi-pronged attacks on black America. The street jailhouse hustler. On the one hand. Then the more educated sounding but still phony street hustler, red, black, and green. I told you, they're all coon agents. All of them. Then you get, get the PhDs who back up, if not supply information, to the lower levels. And of course, Afrocentric studies and all this bullshit is from the white man. That's where they get it from. Then you got coons, and that's what I said, who come up here and want to complain and tell you that we get our information from the white man. And I keep telling these Negroes over and over again, of course we get it from the white man. Then they want to know, if you get yours from the white man and we get ours from the white man, why are you picking and choosing what's, what you want to choose? I'm not picking and choosing nothing. I'm going where the facts are. You said that blacks are global. Pan-Africans. You say that because that's what the white man said. But it wasn't the white man who said that we were not from the Americas. And what I mean is, as far as first human inhabitants, yeah, the white man lied later on and said that we came from Africa. Well, I'm talking about his first human inhabitants. That's what we call reading between the lines. How were the first humans in the Americas black? But all of a sudden, we're not. Huh? You guys fail to, you don't want to acknowledge that everything you get is from the white man. Even the red, black, and green flag. People, they fly that flag and those colors and acting like they're about something. Those colors mean that you're a fucking zombie. And an agent, for that matter. Like I said, there are those who meant well. But those people are the ones getting taken for a ride. 
And I know it's very hard for people to believe that I used to be hanging with people like that. Going to organizations, meetings. I know it's hard to believe. But trust me, those are the people I hung around. And then after a while, like a lot of people, you start seeing things and then you start wondering what the purpose is besides talking. You know, some people get like that. Okay, man, uh, speeches are fine. Uh, having places to gather and paying and donating shit. Yeah, it's fine after a while. Then after too long, you start saying to yourself, why are we still doing this and not moving forward? And then after a while, people like me start realizing, why is it that when black Americans get on, on board with this shit, the focus is always about what we could do for Africa and the Caribbean, but never about what we could do for us. In Africa, I can't even say Africans because it's mainly a Caribbean thing. The Caribbeans never say what they can do for us. It's always about what we can do for them. Then when you look at the origins of Pan-Africanism, and it has that British origin. Because I knew there was a connection with the British. Because all these fucking agents are from the British West Indies. You don't see Dominicans, Cubans, Puerto Ricans trying to get in on this shit. And that's why I asked the fucking question. Why aren't these Jamaicans and these others trying to force these fucking Caribbean Latinos to be uh, African. Even the Dominicans. They're not calling Cardi B. They say Cardi B. I was on some damn uh, channel. I said Cardi B. I was in the chat. I said Cardi B is black. They deleted the comment. <laughs> I said, man, because they don't believe she's black because she's a fucking Hispanic. Like a language. This is what these fuckers always argued all these fucking years. They said that fucking language does not make you not black. But they'll call blind Brian Flores of the NFL a black man. The motherfucker's name is Flores. But Cardi B, who looks like a fucking Nigerian. She's not an African. She's not black. These people are fucking confused or they're fucking trying to confuse you. But again, you got to look at coon agents, head coon, a coon agents like uh, Tariq Nasheed, who wants all so-called Latinos to be considered white. Just look at the pictures of Cardi B's face. Don't, don't worry about nothing else. Her facial features are blacker than mine. For what you want to accept as black. That's why I say look at somebody like Kentavious Caldwell Pope. Dark skin. Look at his facial features. You want to keep going. Yeah, I can go on all day, but let me get back on focus with this Taraka Bay. Because this guy's full of shit. I hate people who are full of shit. And believe me, uh, yeah, I'm, I know Meatball is listening. That's why I came the way I came. Because I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I was trying to ask the fucking questions. Number one, because I know he would hang himself to begin with. But you can hear my comments in the video description. And download the video. Distribute the video. Do what you want to do with the video. Hell, I think Inky might need the video too because uh, it was mainly about him. I spoke for a good while. And it's to Harker Bay bullshitting like, oh yeah, even if it's just you and me on the uh, live, we're going to do this. Well, motherfucker, it ain't going to be me anymore because you're full of shit. One, one thing I can't stand are people who are full of shit and lie all day, every day. And watch, Meatball will get pissed at him again.
We all know that that's coming. Because you saw what happened. He's trying to be cool with Nepal, Shaddai, and Sa Netter. Then he gets this. He disses them. Then he tries to come back and be cool. Then they take his channel down. Now he's pissed off. That's just how it works. Taharka Bay dissed him when he first came on. Made videos about him. Now he's cool again. <laughs> hey, brother. Yeah, I know, brother. I know. Yeah, I saw a green truck. I don't believe in ghosts, but it was, wasn't was real. All that. It's bullshit. Hokey, kooky, crazy shit. So I just wanted to say this. That that's why I waited a month in case Noble is listening too. That's why I waited a month. Before I even said anything, because I wanted to see where this Taharka Bay was going. But I didn't know he was going to pull a double cross. I also said he needed to do a show about these Moors and their sovereignty. He, he called it bullshit too. See, what he's trying to do, he's trying to act like he's a good Moor. <clears throat> and these other people, they're the bad ones. You're all the same. You're all con men. Kooks, criminals, coke addicts, <laughs> you belong in a mental hospital. Uh, hey, I know it sounds bad, but God damn it, th those are the facts. And I don't even want to get into that uh, Egypt is America and because I can easily bust that shit out. It's only going to take me not even five minutes to put that shit to rest for good. But as you know, with Negroes, they don't give a damn what kind of evidence you come with. Matter of fact, it may, may not even take five minutes. I might only need two minutes. But I'm going to save that Trump car. See, some things you don't tell until the time is right. Because the way these people are stealing my shit, they're going to uh, spread this knowledge around. Act like it's coming from them. Then when Tariq Nashi tried to apply the knowledge that he heard to some random people who are smarter book book wise, presumably, than he is. That's because if you got East Indians and a few whites, you know, they usually get college degrees. So, so they're smarter than this guy. He's slicker, but not slick enough. That's why I tell people, I've been telling people in the past, debating Hood urchins, hood hustlers. That's different from debating people in universities and college professors because they, number one, they're always going to be thinking, I know more than this guy. And the truth be told, they did know more than Tariq. That's why Tariq was kind of short on words because he knew Damn, I don't even know the facts on this. He kept dipping in and out, probably looking shit up. I don't know, I don't know the facts on this shit. So I'm going to just crack my little jokes. See, when I get into serious discussions, I'm not cracking no goddamn jokes. I'm cracking the goddamn facts. And when people veer off topic while trying to lie and think of lies then I gotta stay focused I might throw a joke in or try to hurry them up because I know that they're I know what they're trying to do that's the only time I interrupt people when I feel that you you ask them about uh, how pizzas are made then they start talking about um, wild boars in Africa and uh <laughs> You know, how people round them up, uh, import them, and, you know, how they're related to the pig. All this bullshit. They ain't got nothing to do with the question asked. That's when I got to intervene, because I know that they're trying to avoid answering the question, but trying to act like they answered it. 
I say to people like them, you better take lessons from Bill Clinton. Because he's a master of bullshitting. So I just wanted to get that out. So Taharka Bay is full of shit. I don't support a guy like that. And if they bring him down, so be it. But you can see he's trying to grab all the money he can get in a short period of time. And if he didn't have, if he actually had shit to discuss and people to come on, he wouldn't even be bothered with meatball. But that's a jackass. The guy played me. He said, I can come on the show to discuss it. I go on last night when the motherfucker knew I was looking to come back on. Trying, well, where you at? I didn't see your email and all that shit. You didn't come on. Motherfucker, you know why I didn't come on. Because you didn't give me the fucking link. That's why. Bullshit artists. I hate people who full of shit. I don't know what his fucking plan is. So it is what it is, but... I'm telling you, I'm dropping this. I told him I was dropping the shit too. And it's on, it's not on YouTube. Because I know how people like him like to do, oh, he putting my video, my material. And hey, now nah, your, your video ain't on YouTube. See, I know how to circumvent the system when I want to. Negro.